Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Scott Stringer, New York City Controller, and I'm so glad to be joined by community advocates, including Philip Weisman, member of the Council of Chelsea Block Associations, and a great friend, Jeffrey Croft, president of the New York City Park Advocates, Cheryl Kazin, president, Friends of Dog Hamishal Park, Alan Ulster, chair of the Parks Committee uh, at 400 West 21st Street, 22nd Street, and 23rd Street, and Claude Winfield, vice chair of Committee Board 6. We also have Shelley Winfield, vice chair of the Bellevue Cab. Today, I'm releasing an audit that shows how the city's Department of Parks and Recreation has mismanaged one of its core responsibilities, keeping our 650,000 trees healthy and maintained. Time and time again, in four out of five boroughs in the city, auditors found that the Parks Department failed to properly manage the work done by private contractors to prune trees on our sidewalks. Our auditors found inaccurate lists or no lists at all of tree pruning. The Parks Department failed to give contractors specific lists of trees that needed pruning, and they couldn't produce evidence that the work had been inspected. Parks erroneously included undersized trees in their work list. That means there's less money available for the pruning of large trees. Finally, the Parks Department couldn't ensure that the service it pays for was actually provided. In Manhattan and Staten Island, 20% of funds paid to contractors were for trees that were ineligible under the contract or didn't appear to have been pruned at all. We can minimize these problems with vigorous oversight and regular tree maintenance. But I don't have to go out on a limb to tell you that our city's performance is unacceptable. Tax dollars are wasted, property is damaged, and worse, people are injured and sometimes even killed when trees are not properly cared for. And when trees aren't maintained, falling limbs can leave the city liable. We hear this morning at West 23rd Street and 9th Avenue because it's the site of one such claim. In 2011, a person was hit on the forehead by a falling branch, and New York City settled that claim for $4,000. On average, once a day, someone files a claim against the city of New York because of a falling tree limb. Just in the last few days, a police officer was hospitalized after being hit in the head by a tree branch in Brooklyn. These claims cost the city significant amounts of money. More than $670 million is budgeted each year for claims against the city. That's why our office recently launched ClaimStat. It's a data-driven program that spots troubling trends in claims and gives us the information we need to be proactive and reduce them. In our first ClaimStat report, we showed that claims for injuries and property damage from falling trees across the city shot up after budget cuts in 2011. Several, several of these claims led to multi-million dollar settlements, including one that cost more than twice the department's tree pruning budget between fiscal year 2010 and 2015. Now the council restored funding in 2013, but it's clear that the money is only as good as the controls intended to ensure timely and efficient pruning. This audit is our attempt to reduce claims against the city and at the same time protect our citizens. We need to hold our city agencies accountable. And when the Parks Department, with responsibility for 650,000 trees, can't figure out what the left hand and the right hand is doing in four of our four boroughs, it causes a real danger to the community, it hurts the fiscal condition of our city, and this audit gives the Parks Department a roadmap to better record keeping, to holding contractors responsible, and making sure our city budget is strong. I do not want to wake up another day to find out a tree has hurt somebody or caused real property damage because the Parks Department wasn't doing the right pruning, they weren't doing their job, and there's a way to understand that we have to create rules and procedures to get this job done. Now let me shout out the borough of Queens, even though we're in Manhattan. Our auditors found that the Queens roadmap and process for tree pruning is actually very effective and efficient. So whoever's out there in Queens doing it right, we want to get all the four boroughs to act like Queens. Do you Manhattanites agree? Yes. yes. All right. So with that said, I'd now like to call up uh, 
someone who's a real leader on so many of these issues that relates to parks. I'd like to ask Phyllis to speak on behalf of all the uh, community groups assembled today. Phyllis, could you come up and say a few words? Sure. Thank you very much. I'm Phyllis Waisman, and I'm a member of the Chelsea Council of Block Associations. And I want to thank Controller Stringer for bringing us here today to talk about this vital issue of public safety. The New York City Department of Parks and Recreation is responsible for ensuring that the city's 650,000 street trees are healthy and well maintained. Street trees are very important to our environment. They provide shade, they provide beauty, they release oxygen into the atmosphere, and they increase property values. And while the Parks Department has done a good job in planting the trees, they have failed to manage the work done to keep our street trees in shape, and that puts us all potentially at risk. The money we spend on pruning trees should be put towards that intended purpose. 20% of the funds spent here in Manhattan were for trees that were not supposed to be pruned. As Controller Stringer said, people can get hurt, cords can get dented, and the accumulated cost to the city of New York rises when people sue the city for damages. It's a bad recipe for taxpayers, and I'm glad that Controller Stringer has shed light on this issue. We can and must do better. Thank you. Okay, thank you all for coming out. Thank you, folks. Thank you.